good afternoon on this very dangerous January afternoon, Monday, January 26, 2015. It's 1.50 p.m. and this is the beginning of what the storm everyone was talking about is starting to produce now. You are, you are seeing the storm literally pick up now in intensity. The storm and the snow is falling moderately, starting a little earlier than anticipated because the storm is really starting to get underway. Uh, it is 1.51 p.m. and right now I'm sitting in my car. I'm ready to drive through this. It's gonna take me probably a good hour to get home right now because the roads are pretty dangerous. Uh, there are people who have decided to stay. You know, they, <laughs> I don't know what they're thinking, but they decided to stay till 5.30. Others tried to stay till 9.30. They're not gonna be able to get home tonight. There's no way that they're gonna be able to get home because they're talking about three feet of snow. This is actually beginning a lot earlier than anticipated. In fact, I thought that this was gonna start at around five o'clock, but it is starting now and it's two o'clock. So that is a lot earlier than everyone talked. So it's really gonna be very bad, you know, going home this afternoon. In fact, the roads are gonna be closed very soon. So uh, honestly, good luck to those people who are gonna be staying and driving in this because the thing is, the concern is when they close the roads, they close them for a reason because people are not gonna be able to come get you if you get stuck out there. So you're putting your life in danger if you're gonna be venturing out there and you get stuck because what's gonna happen is the emergency vehicles are not gonna go out there and save you because that's the whole point of them closing the roads to preserve the resources for the people that really need it. So if you go out there when the roads are closed and you get stranded, you will not be, they will not come and get you. They're gonna, you're gonna be stuck there until further notice. And that's the thing that everybody is concerned about because when this storm really picks up and you get stuck out there, no four wheel drive is gonna save you. Nothing's gonna save you. You're gonna be stuck out there for a long time. And you know, if you're stuck out there, you know, you run out of gas, there's no fuel, there's no, it's freezing out there, you know, power outages. Imagine that being stuck in darkness in the freezing weather, no one's gonna be getting you. That could be you if you get stuck out there. So if you definitely don't need to be out there, do not go. And if you can go home early, go home because you don't wanna be stuck out there. It's officially the blizzard of 2015 that is ushering in in this area right here so this is going to be a historic storm up to three feet of snow could be possible with this storm uh, some areas can see up to four feet especially in Maine that's where the storm is really going to be a blockbuster that part of the area that part of New England is going to be significantly affected take a look at this snow mound right here this is the snow mound from Saturday's storm that was about three inches of snow. So that was from Saturday. Now you're gonna see three feet of snow falling here. So this snow mound will be dramatically higher. You know, when these when they start removing this snow and assessing the damage that this storm has produced by this time, let's say tomorrow, you're gonna see this snow mound reach much higher than what you see right here. If you thought this was high, wait till you see what happens after tomorrow. This very parking space that I'm in right now may not be available tomorrow going forward if this snow mound gets much higher than that so anyway that's this quick update for you Vlad flower style I'll do more updates throughout the day and post them up to YouTube so you guys can see what's happening in Long Island that's pretty much it stay safe out there